I go on Twitter every so often to just check up on gaming updates. And I see a lot of negativity regarding how games nowadays really aren't holding up and are not as much fun as they used to be. Now I do agree that some games that are coming out aren't really lasting the full lifespan for a game. But that doesn't mean they aren't good games. I guess what I look for when I'm playing a game is just how often will it keep me coming back. Games like Deep Rock Galactic, Hades, or even Borderlands, where replayability is almost a key mechanic for the overall gameplay experience. For instance, Deep Rock Galactic keeps me coming back with each free update throwing more things within the game to make it more fun, but also to have more things to earn such as cosmetics, materials, and weapons. Not to mention, Deep Rock Galactic's community is one of the most loyal and helpful communities out there. Something I deeply love about this game is that the progression feels great. You get rewarded for nearly everything and at no point is the game holding your time spent hostage. You can play games ranging from 15 to 45 minutes long, and sometimes that's all the time I can play. If I have enough time to run a few matches and still maintain a good level of progression, then that is time well invested. Time usually isn't an issue with this one, and with its hours of endless replayability, I can play multiple times with unexpected outcomes. That can be invaluable to someone on a budget, or someone who's looking to invest their time in a game that invests in them. Speaking of time investment, we can even see that with single player games like Hades. I love a great roguelike that can supply me with endless possibilities of how my experience will be different from someone else's. Not to mention it also rewards my time spent rather than setting me back for all the progress I put in. Hades speaks volumes in that regard. I haven't had a run in that game not help me progress once I return back to the Temple of Sticks. This game has so much more than just replayability though too. The music alone slaps, but also having the world breathe in so much life with its art design and fully voiced characters just solidifies what I'm talking about. All of these choices made makes the game more consistent and replayable. Trying out new alternatives and just how you want to approach each run is something I admire with roguelikes. Having the chance to learn from previous mistakes and apply that knowledge is one of the most rewarding facts about Hades. That kind of replayability can be seen outside of roguelikes as well. It can be applied to any encounter with mechanics, and learning how to effectively take on any challenge the game can throw at you can leave a memorable and satisfying experience. Lastly, I'm going to talk about a game that sits comfortably in my library all year round. Borderlands has to be one of the best games I have ever played with replayability being a feature I only discovered after multiple playthroughs. Normally, Borderlands keeps you progressing through the story and picking out skills that suit your current playstyle, but what happens after you've beaten the game and maxed out your levels? Well, you could reset your skills and make a different build looking for a different approach, or choose an allegiance to a specific manufacturer and play through the game only supporting them. For me, it's the RNG and everything that can be picked up that always keeps me coming back. Guns have always been a huge part of Borderlands, and finding god rolls or building an arsenal to create an absolute chaotic build is usually what I like to do in just about every run. But even other Borderlands challenges can present a unique way to play the game, such as permadeath, allegiance runs, or even boss rushing. Ideally, the perfect game doesn't really exist. It's solely up to you, the player, to create that experience for yourself. A game with replayability creates a bridge to have the player come back for more, and I'm sure any of you guys watching this have a game in mind that you would consider replayable in any fashion. So please, feel free to mention them in the comments below. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. My name is Zen, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.